What's up guys, this is Zach Hample coming to you from a minor league baseball stadium, Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium in Jupiter, Florida for a once in a lifetime opportunity, not even kidding. This place, because of COVID, is closed several days each week for actual minor league games and yet the team got in touch with me and invited me to come and be the only fan in the stadium and yes I'm allowed to have my glove and run around and catch baseballs so that's what's happening here I am so pumped I mean just you can see there's nobody early BP right now the stadium I don't think would even be this open anyway if the public were allowed to be here and over on this side got to give some love to the two guys who made it happen so right here is Miller media relations coordinator who got in touch with me so thank you mm -hmm. okay, and okay. Andrew is the GM of the Palm Beach Cardinals, one of four teams that plays here. I'll talk more about that later. So thank you guys. And Lakeland is out here taking BP. Could be tough to catch balls early because there's no seating in fair territory, but we'll see what happens. I am going to donate every single ball that I get. They're nice enough to let me keep them. I'm gonna donate them to my favorite charity, Pitch In For Baseball and Softball, and I am personally going to donate $5 to the charity for every baseball that I snag today. So I'll throw a link in the description to how you guys can get involved if you want to contribute. But for right now, I can go anywhere. I can do anything. I can't believe this. So uh, bye bye. Oh, yeah. I am on the board nice and early. We don't have a shot of the first one that I got. It landed in the empty seats down the left field foul line and someone on Lakeland beat me to it, but then tossed it to me. So uh, I kind of ducked out of view for a moment. So you can see three baseballs early on. So I'm $15 poorer for a very good cause. Um, some of these guys out in left field shagging just said that they watch all my videos. So maybe we can get them in this one. This is just wild. Do you guys want to be in the video? Point the camera on them for a second. What's up? How's it going? Oh, well thanks. You're making this too easy for me. takes over. Wow, five already. Triple digits today? No, I don't think so, but my goodness. <laughs> you can see these baseballs are pretty worn out. That's what you often get in the lower level of the minor leagues, but still great to have these. They're still quality baseballs, just a little bit old. Thanks a lot, man. There it is, number six on the name. I'm looking down at the ground to count. We'll, uh, we'll just place this one right next to the others. I had to work for that one. It was halfway out on the warning track and it took me a few attempts to knock it closer. And then unfortunately I knocked it too close and it went underneath a little padded lip of the wall. So I had to balance on my stomach 
on this tall plexiglass wall. I assume that's only there because of COVID. And finally, I got the ball to go into the cup, so my seventh of the day. And then Kingston Liniak, one of the players on Lakeland, came over. He's a center fielder, great young player. Hopefully he'll make it someday. Shout out to his brother, Cisco. And you can see that I have the seven baseballs right here. And there's a bunch of different logos on them. There's a Florida State League ball, there's South Atlantic League, there's minor league balls. So just cool to get a variety. Of course, I love getting balls with different logos at Major League Stadiums, all the different commemorative logos that get put into use. But here in, in one day at a minor league stadium, there's three different ones. For right now, while well, batting practice is done, uh, they're setting up the field for the game. I did see one baseball land on the other side of the stadium. Maybe there's even more than one, so hopefully nobody went over to pick it up. Obviously no fans, but an employee might have gone to get it, so why don't we head over there, look for the Easter egg, and we'll take it from there. Normally baseballs roll down the steps. If you're looking for baseballs, you have to, you have to look at the bottoms of the seats. So look at this. You can see that there's a space between the plastic and the concrete that's wider than a baseball. And even if the seat is folded down, no matter what you do with it, there is enough room for a ball. In some stadiums, the bottom of the seat is like this high off the step. So when that happens, any ball that ends up in the seats will probably stay in the row where it landed. But sure enough, look what's down here. The nice thing about having special privileges today is that these chains, they don't mean anything. We'll do it like a, a wrestling move, go right through. I am now up to 11 baseballs for the day, double digits. I talk about it all the time at Major League Stadiums. Did it here at a Minor League Stadium. And there is one more baseball tucked behind a garbage can on the field. So let's try to get that one. That was a lot easier than it looked. Hey, number 12. Whoa! Watch out. This baseball that you see me playing with right here, I have to award an honorary assist, and it goes to this guy. His name is Noah, and I'll explain how we met in a moment, but he actually saw that baseball tucked behind the garbage can and pointed it out, so thank you, my man. Of course. Now, Noah was at a game in New York City recently, spotted my videographer, Fenway Chris. They got into talking, Chris mentioned we were gonna be down here, Noah lives here. So he graciously gave us a ride from our hotel to the stadium, and he's getting some bonus shots of me, perhaps for this video, maybe for social media. And you shoot photos for the teams here, or like, what exactly do you do? Yeah, sometimes I bounce around um, some minor league stadiums um, like the Fort Myers Mighty Muscles. I've been to the Lakeland uh, Stadium that we're gonna see here today. Uh, well the team and then I've been here for a couple of games for Jupiter and the Cardinals uh, So it's been pretty fun. And so you are an official media member today. Yeah, so I can still yeah. say I'm the only fan yeah. Just have to establish that for the record, but uh, tell everybody your Instagram. We'll put it up on the screen. Uh, my Instagram is at Noah Goldberg Photo. Um, I guess you'll see it on the screen. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So show him some love, check him out, and thank you. And I guess we're just going to keep hanging at least until game time, and then you get to work. Yeah.
up. They said Miller. Man, it was nice to meet you. Tell me your name. Noah. Noah. Yeah, Noah. It's also a Noah. Look at this. This game is underway. Top of the first inning. Here comes the pitch. <laughs> and I'm basically alone in this stadium. There's um, a few officials in the stands behind the plate. Um, there's like a first aid guy standing in the walkway. If you can see him, maybe in a red shirt, but. This is wild. Where did that baseball go? That had to come out here somewhere. Where is it? Is that it? Oh, hello. Hello, baseball. Thank you very much. Number 15 on the day. Wow, well. You can see what the outside of the stadium looks like here. Am I going to get 10 foul balls during the game? <laughs> if there's no one out here going for them, uh, quite possibly. There's the name of the stadium. And uh, just run right back inside this gate, I guess. Wow. This just doesn't even seem real. Just hit one out here again. <sighs> it's time for our first scoreboard update of the game, and I don't have to yell, I can talk very quietly. Now, <laughs> it's the bottom of the first inning. Lakeland is on top four to nothing. They batted around. So now the Cardinals are up. Let's see this pitch come in. Get ready for it. Ooh, that was a shot. Very nice. Nobody out. So this, this may turn out to be a slugfest. Uh, I got 14 baseballs pregame. It gets loud for the walk-up music, so I'll just shout at you guys for a moment. 14 balls pregame, and then I got three foul balls in the top of the first inning. Two outside the stadium, and then one inside. This uh, gentleman over here, working first aid, handed me one. 
So baseballs from employees count. And along those lines, Noah, come on over here. He went and found this one outside the stadium. So uh, this is now number 18 of the day. And uh, we have some lefties up right now. So look at this, look at the Cardinals getting it done. They just hit yet another ball out of here. I wonder if these guys found it. Ooh. Oh, look at this. There it is. <laughs> Unreal. That is number 19 on the day. Five foul balls in the first inning. Oh, I am getting my steps in today. The Cardinals in the bottom half of the first inning, two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left on. Pretty cool to have gotten a third out ball tossed up from Lakeland. That was Jake Holton, their first baseman, who chucked it, airmailed me by a few rows, and then it trickled down the steps as that ball is put into play. And I grabbed it. If you want to swing around this way, basically it was on the other side of one of these advertisements. First baseman, boards. number 26, so, Jake Holton. Oh, here's the guy who's up at bat who threw it, but I, I pulled this up and grabbed the ball out. So I think that's 20 baseballs. Why don't we count? Oh, there they go. Oh, and there's more. There's more. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty balls. So we are now up to a $100 donation from me to pitch in for baseball and softball. And we're Lakeland in the top half of the second inning. We're heading to the, the bottom Lakeland of the Hill second. It's still Howard four to two, Lakeland. Now that is fun. Just resting against a little plant. <laughs> Noah, thank you for filming that. Chasing after me. Chris is my inside man, you're my outside man. Wow, so uh, number 21 on the day. <laughs> Look at this one, it's still rolling. Love it. There we go. Number 22, I think. See, I'm not one of those people that keeps the sticker on a hat. Sorry, that's lame. If you do that, you're officially lame. You pull the stickers off on both sides. And, uh... Oh, yeah. Look at this one. Look how sweaty this has gotten. That Florida humidity, baby. 
so more hookups from the Cardinals. Love it. Thank you, Andrew. There he is. I thought he was already all the way down the walkway. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So that is baseball number 23 on the day. And I just want to talk quickly about something that I mentioned earlier, which is all the different teams and the games that take place here at Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium. So this is the Florida State League. It used to be high A. Noah, come on in here and make sure I get this right. High A? Right, it used to be high A. Now yeah. it's low A. So you have both the Marlins and the Cardinals affiliates that play when one team is on the road, the other's home. And you also have the Florida Complex League. Again, both Major League organizations have their teams here. It's like a rookie level league. And Major League Spring Training also takes place here. Is that right? Right, spring training for both So teams. basically, yeah, for both the Marlins and the Cardinals. So yep. six different teams. It's like games nonstop throughout the year. And beyond the clubhouses in the outfield, there are 12 full-sized baseball fields. Yeah. So it's uh, it's really quite something. And by the way, all the concession stands are closed and I'm starving. So uh, we just ordered some pizza, which should be getting here to the stadium pretty soon. I mean, what do you do when you can't just walk up and buy something, right? You, you make the food come to you. Well, here you go, video evidence of the concourse completely empty. And by the way, that last baseball that I got was thrown by Gordon Graceffo. So a big thank you to him and thank you to everyone who's hooked me up with baseballs today. I unfortunately don't know everybody's name, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Look at this one, another one rolling. <laughs> the baseballs just continue to rain down from the heavens above. So that is now 25 baseballs today and I think the pizza is here so let's figure this out oh yeah Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh. Yo, hey. Thanks. Where is this from? Down the line. All right, Are you, you're part of the grounds crew. Stadium employee hooking it up. It counts. So, thanks. You're Number 26 on the day. Wow. Would you like some pizza? I think there's a baseball in here. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Here we go, number 27 of the day. 
All right. Another one? Oh, my man. Thank you. Look at these guys pointing it out. All right. Ah. Yes. Anything else? No mas? First <laughs> Thank you. So, I gotta find a way to get at least two more. That's what I'm going for, 30 balls. Baseball number 29, here we go. All right. Let's see if we can get the other one. There's one more up there. High foul ball behind the plate where I've been hanging out all night. If I'd been there, might have caught it on the fly. And I gotta give a shout out to Frankie with first aid for hooking this up. So that's my 30th baseball of the day. What? And I'm still gonna go for that baseball on this little canopy thing. Throw this buckler glove up at it and try to knock it off. So we'll see how that goes, but wow. That ball was too close to the beam. I didn't want to throw my glove at it, so I threw another ball at it, and it worked. Oh. Right over here, can you see this? that one because I snagged it, gave that one to the kid, he's already grabbed a bunch. Uh, so 31 balls for the day and uh, 30 are still in my possession. Did they both go down? I lost the ball that Center I was throwing up at it. Kingston Linear. Actually, no, it's the other way around because, not that it matters, but the uh, seams on this one are very raised. So this is a rain-soaked ball, and I remember throwing this one at it. So uh, 32 baseballs tonight, if I'm counting right.
Unbelievable night for me here at Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium, and it was also a great night for the Lakeland Flying Tigers. They put up a four spot in the first inning, and that wasn't even their biggest offensive outburst. They scored seven runs in the sixth and beat the Cardinals by the score of 12 to three. As I think I said earlier, it's tough for me to identify minor league players that I've never seen before, but I do know that it was Nick Davila, a reliever with Lakeland, that threw me a ball as his team was clearing the field. I assumed that would be my final baseball of the night, but then a young man named Dalton, who works as the visiting clubhouse manager, added the exclamation point. So that ball from Dalton, who also gave me one in BP, was number 35 of the night. Now I did give one away to a kid earlier, but I have the other 34, and if you look down at the ground, you have a little ballygraphy right here, as I call it, spelling out the number 35. You can fix the three a little bit, so. What an amazing night, and by the way, even though these baseballs don't count for my major league total, um, I can tell you that my major league record for one game is 36, which I did in Cincinnati on my birthday 10 years ago. I'll link to that blog entry in the description. Um, so, you know, I came close to my professional baseball record. The 35 balls, I said I was gonna donate five bucks a ball to pitch in for baseball and softball, so that's $175 I'm glad to contribute. And if any of you guys watching would also like to contribute, that would really mean a lot to me. I'll link to that charity in the description. What they do very quickly, they provide baseball and softball equipment to underserved children and communities all over the world. So it's basically helping to get kids out on the field playing ball. I think it's a great cause. When I snagged A-Rod's 3,000th career hit and the Yankees donated $150,000 for that baseball, that money, went to this charity pitch in for baseball and softball. So I've been supporting it for a while and I'd love it if you guys join me. Huge shout out to everybody here at the stadium, especially Miller, Andrew, and my new friend Noah, who was very helpful today. Everybody was helpful. The grounds crew was awesome. The first aid guy. I mean, some of the players were friendly as well. So um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you see what it says on my shirt, do it. And if you've already done it, try to get one friend or family member to subscribe to me. That would really help. The road to one million subs, baby. Let's do this. And also, one more thing that I'm gonna link to in the description, then I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna leave. I recently created a playlist called Minor League Baseball Games. It's not a ton there, but there's some fun stuff, so check it out in the description. I'll add this game to it. And that's it. Hopefully I'll get to more minor league games. Of course, lots more major league games and videos coming up. So I'm out of here. Beautiful night here in Jupiter, Florida. Thank you again for watching.